Alright, hey YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own website using Envision Powerboard 3.2.3 Retail. Um, I will have the download for FileZilla and um, the Powerboard, Envision Powerboard 3.2.3, in the description. So, first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your browser, go to www.000webhost.com. And as you're there, you most likely don't have an account yet, so you're going to want to sign up, type in all this information, agree to the terms of service, and um, just hit create my account. But since I already have an account, I go to members area, and you all you have to do is just sign in. And then um, as soon as you get into your account, um, you'll see your website here. It might be still building since you just created your account. But after it's done building, you can go to the C panel. And before you do anything, you're going to want to scroll down and find um, MySQL. Now this is going to create an SQL database and this is what you need to create your site or to set up Envision PowerPoint after it's done uploading. So just, um, you can basically just do test and final. Um, that's just the easiest to remember and the easiest to do. So, um, okay. Um, now just go to just go back to where you were and now that you see all this information over here you see the server name the IP address and you see all these other different things the basically the two or the three things you're going to need is the right here is this the username um, and you're going to need the IP address you can either use the IP address or this right here the server name and then you're going to need to know your um, password. So as you open up FileZilla, it'll come up like this. Now you can do a quit connect, or you can go and actually save your um, website in. So just whatever your website was called, I'm just going to call mine YouTube. And then your host, just go ahead and whichever one you want to do. I usually do the IP. Just go and put everything in there. Okay, now you're going to want to do normal, come back down here, copy your username, and paste it, and then type in your password, and then you should be able to hit connect, and it connects right away. Now, you're going, this is what all your files are going to be into, public HTML. Now, you can go ahead and delete both files out. And this is where the loading part comes in. So what we're going to want to do is go to um, board 3.2.3. This is most likely what it's going to say for you, too. Now, this documentation is how to do it, installation guide. Tools, these are all the different tools you can you have on the board. And upload, this is where you going, you're going to upload everything. Um, now all this right here, you need to upload all this. So basically, just highlight it all. Get up, get a FileZilla up, drag it all over, and just drop it. And then it will start the extraction process. It should only take a little while. And then after it's done extracting, what it's going to do is begin the file upload. Just wait for it to extract here. Okay, now that it's done, now you see right here, you see queer, queer, <laughs> queried files. Sorry about that. Um, now, this is how many files are uploading successful transfers. Now, if you get any failed transferred, if you get over about 10 failed transfers, you're going to want to redo it because that means your board will start messing up as soon as you start setting it up. 
So, and zero zero web host, since you have a free account, you don't have a lot of disk space, so you um, don't want to go and upload a lot until you actually get the board set up. So, I will come back after this is done uploading and um, go from there. Alright, hey YouTube, um, I'm back, and uh, the file transfer is complete, no failed transfers or anything, everything was successful, so now for the second part, you're going to want to um, go to your website, um, just go over here, click right here, now you'll see this right here. And this is the biggest problem right here with um, 000 web host. The memory limit is 64, and I only hit, or yeah, it's 64, and you're supposed to have 128, but um, usually it passes, so just go ahead and accept the um, license agreement. Just hit next. And there's not going to be any um, applications there because this is a retail and it's not completely nulled. It's not like people put apps into it. But um, as you can see, you don't have a license key, so you just have to hit next. Now, this is where you created the SQL database. So you're going to want to go back down and go to MySQL again. And this is the database name, and that's the username. So just copy the database name. And you can also paste it in the um, username. And then just change it to final. And then go back. And here is your MySQL host. And just go and copy that. And paste it over here. Localhost usually does not work. And then type in your password. And come down here, and you shouldn't have any problems, and just hit next. See? No problems. And type in everything um, that you uh, like for your username on your website. And um, just go and do all that. Scroll down, hit next. And now you just do start installation. And you should not have any problems. There's 13 steps in this. And usually after it gets past the first one, if there's no errors by the first step is complete, then you're good. See, there's no errors, so there's not going to be any errors for the rest of the installation. So just sit here and wait for this to um, complete. Um, in my next video, after this, I am going to show you how to install different apps and hooks after um, installing the I, um, Envision Power Board because you can install the hooks right from the administrator panel, administration panel, and but you can't do that with apps. You have to actually go in through FileZilla and do it. So um, after this, I will show you that. So after this is done. I'm going to pause it right now, but after it's done, I'll... Okay, hello YouTube. As we can see, we are just complete right now. So now what you can do is you can go ahead, you can X out of the setup, go back to your website, and now your website is here. Um, now that you're here, you're going to want to sign in. Now that you're there, um, you're going to see the admin CP and moderator CP. Now the admin CP is where you're going to be managing most of your site, aside from FileZilla with the FTP transfer. And then as you go into there, see it license key missing. Um, so anyway, um, this is basic. This is your basic AC um, administration panel. And um, so I'm going to stop the video here, and I will, in my next video, teach you how to install more apps and hooks. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.